Blacked out so I don't remember It's a war and I won't surrender Getting back on my schedule Got your whole future ahead of you But your past is making the present wrong And it sucks cause you never intend Hi, I'm Kendall from Connoisseur Concentrates And I'm here with Drew, the owner of Connoisseur Concentrates And Eric, a high purity welding specialist at Molecular Motion And we're back to blow up more shit Woohoo! You pouting, you get loud, you get shouting Raise your voice to make points, I will face facts, I face joints. So we're here at one of our research and development facilities and what we're gonna be doing is some experimenting on our new glass material column that's going in our one pound Mr. Extractor unit. Uh, we're gonna be doing some pressure testing, some cryogenic hydrostatic pressure testing to see what it does when you put it under pressure while it's cold. We're also gonna show you what temperature does to Mr. Extractor as far as PSI. I definitely don't recommend that you do any of these experiments at home or anywhere else, but we need to know the limitations of this material chamber before we put it out to you. So we're gonna film it today and let you see how this thing works. Come take a look. With your Mr. Extractor unit, you have the choice between either a glass column for your material or a stainless cold column, otherwise known as a dewaxing column. At the time of purchase, you'll have your choice between either one and our new one pound unit. It's important to know that when you're using glass, glass is subject to different pressures than stainless steel is. It reacts a little bit differently. So what we need to do is test and see what the breaking point of the glass is before we issue it out. The way that we're gonna do that is called hydrostatic pressure testing. We fill the unit with water, we pressurize the unit, and we find out at what pressure that unit breaks. We're gonna slowly increase the pressure on this unit and let it climb until it breaks. It's gonna take a little bit of time as we slowly increase the pressure. We don't wanna just jam it up real quick and have the thing break real quick. So we're gonna let it slowly climb and when it reaches its max pressure, you'll watch it pop. And there it goes. You can see that the pressure went up to about 250 to 275 PSI before it broke. We're gonna show you some tests on what PSI Mr. Extractor actually operates under, but I guarantee it's very far lower than 275 PSI. So young, sure damage goods. Now that you just seen the bursting pressure of our new material column chamber, we're gonna run a couple of tests to show you the actual operating pressure of Mr. Extractor. It's actually quite low, you'd be surprised. In your Mr. Extractor, if you're using laboratory grade butane, its pressure sits at about 10 psi. If you're using canned butane, its pressure is artificially increased by the propane, which makes it sit at about 40 psi. Mr. Extractor uses warm water to evaporate the butane. You should never use water that's over 85 degrees, and you don't need to. It will just darken your oil. Today we're going to do an experiment to show you what would happen if you accidentally put boiling water in your machine. Eric is going to pour some boiling hot water into Mr. Extractor, which you should never do under any circumstance. But we're going to show you what the pressure reaches when it is used incorrectly. As you can see, even with boiling hot water, our pressure is about 36 psi. What's nice about using hot water over an HVAC pump is that hot water cools down and the pressure goes down with it. It's important to note that we are using laboratory grade butane in this experiment, but if we were using canned butane, the pressure would be considerably higher, but nowhere near the 275 PSI that you just saw the material column burst at. Thanks, Kendall. Mr. Extractor is a closed loop butane extraction system. Hot water is what's used to evaporate the butane. The other half of that is dry ice. We put it in the top. That's what turns the gaseous butane back into a liquid so that you can use it again next time. There's a little bit of uh, science that goes along with that. This material column, subjected to warmth and pressure, is only half of it. It's also subjected to cryogenic temperatures. That can affect its strength and the pressure rating of the device. 
So what we're going to do is something that I wouldn't recommend anybody do. We're going to recreate the bursting pressure using cryogenic temperatures. It's not an easy thing, but we're in the good environment to do that and we have the ability, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take our material column, fill it full of 2-propanol, and submerge it in dry ice. We're going to bring it down to about negative 70 degrees Celsius and then pressurize it and see when it explodes so that we can recreate the temperatures and realistic situations this machine may possibly see if you were to accidentally misuse it. As we slowly increase the pressure in the device, there's a couple things that I'd like to point out. Mainly, that butane, when it's this cold, it doesn't have any pressure. So the point is moot. One of the things that most people are used to is active systems using the pump to artificially pressurize the system. Our system, Mr. Extractor, is only pressurized by the butane itself. When butane is this cold, subjected to dry ice and the temperatures that we're showing, it has no pressure. So in theory, this whole exercise is pointless, but a lot of people ask this question, so we're going to go ahead and show you. And there it goes. What you'll notice is that the glass didn't actually break. It reached up to about 225 PSI before the seals gave out. We could continue pressure testing it this way, but I don't think we're going to see any different results. We already know that the other unit pressure tested up to 275 PSI, and even when this unit has been cryogenically frozen, it went up to 225 PSI before the seals gave out. I think we can prove that when butane is at this temperature, it's at a very low PSI, it's never going to reach that PSI with our system, and even if it ever possibly did, you're up to 220 PSI before the seals even give out. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one a win for Mr. Extractor. It's a war and I won't surrender Getting back on my schedule Got your whole future ahead of you But your past is making the present wrong And it sucks cause you never intended to and I, I hope you've enjoyed watching some of the paces that we put our Mr. Extractor unit through. We've gone ahead, pressure tested the device way beyond its operational parameters. We've put boiling water in it, and then we froze it and blew it up anyway. I think it did pretty good. Here's a few things to remember. Mr. Extractor does have operational guidelines, and we far exceeded them today. Another thing is we're testing this glass material column. Glass is glass. Even if it's really thick and tempered and borosilicate, it's still glass and it's not steel. It's going to have its advantages and its disadvantages, and that's something that you're going to need to take into consideration before picking up a Mr. Extractor with a glass column. The great news about it? You can get one with a stainless column. It's an option that we're offering at the time of purchase. You can either take one with a glass column, you can take one with a stainless column, it's gonna cost the same price. Here's a couple things to remember when you're talking to your buddies about our material column. I'm sure a lot of you have heard that this material column is not rated for the pressures that you're gonna see in a closed loop system, and they're actually correct. They're not rated for use in an active system, because an active system in general uses pumps that don't shut off until they reach about 550 PSI, which will easily break this, as you have seen. What's important to remember is that our system doesn't go that high. You've watched me pour boiling water into our system and it reached about 40 PSI. Clearly there's some factors that could go one way or the other, but it's important to note that when you're talking about pressure and safety rating, it's the usage that it's being applied to that's important. Mr. Extractor uses a low PSI passive system and this is easily far surpassing its pressure rating. Thank you for watching our video. Our one pound units are going to be available soon and our five pound units are almost ready, but they're all sold out. And we're also in the works of making a quarter pound unit. So please check out our website at www.mrextractor.com or at Facebook at Connoisseur Concentrates. See you soon. Put the weed in the trunk if the cops wanna stop us, no reason to front. Pick up the phone, girl, it's been like a month. Got me drinking and driving and smoking a blunt.